Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Obama just showed up trying to be president with massive motorcade, steps out and makes shocking admission. Judging by the way he left the world and our economy in turmoil, it's incredible to believe that anyone would be treating former President Barack Hussein Obama like a rock star. But then comes San Francisco. Thursday a crowd of up to 100 cheering people gathered outside to catch glimpse of the former U.S. president as he was leaving the Airbnb offices. Airbnb confirms that Obama visited the offices Thursday and said in a statement he was invited by the CEO Brian Chesky to participate in a discussion. President Obama and Chesky have a close relationship going back to 2015 when Chesky was named a presidential ambassador for global entrepreneurship. But what was perhaps the most unbelievable part of the appearance was when the SEALs in San Francisco cheered as the former president stepped out of his motorcade. Obama seemed like he was taken aback by the display and said, aren't you all supposed to be at work right now? Although the people there almost fainted by the comment in the same way preteen girls faint at the sight of Justine Bieber, or whoever is considered hot these days. The question is very ironic considering how this president left the American economy in shambles and the unemployment numbers at the highest level they have been in decades. No, Mr. President, most in San Francisco don't have jobs to go to. Didn't your motorcade drive by the thousands of tent cities all over the city? Or the human feces all over the streets who were both caused by the same ideology which a community organizer like yourself wanted to bring to the whole nation? Here is more on Obama's jobs numbers via Kants News. Excluding January 2009, the month when Barack Obama was inaugurated, unemployment has stayed above 8 percent, which is longer than under any other administration since the Bureau of Labor Statistics BLS, started measuring the monthly jobless rate, over 8 percent for 43 months during Obama compared to a total of 39 months above 8 percent between 1948 and 2008. Over the course of 50 years, the unemployment rate in the United States was above 8 percent for a total of three years and three months. Under Obama alone, the rate has been above 8 percent for three years and seven months. Also, no other president presided over three consecutive years of average annual unemployment of more than 8 percent before Obama, according to the BLS data. The rate was above 8 percent throughout 1975, under President Gerald Ford, and throughout 1982 and 1983, under President Reagan. However, the rate went to 7.8 percent in February 1984 and continued to fall steadily under Reagan. At the end of his second term in 1988, unemployment was down to 5.3 percent. According to the BLS, starting in 1948, unemployment in the United States never surpassed 8 percent until January 1975, when it hit 8.1 percent. In the Carter years, it fluctuated between 7.5 percent and 5.6 percent. And from February 1984 to January 2009, the rate fluctuated from a high of 7.8 percent to a low of 3.9 percent. When President Barack Obama took office in January 2009, unemployment was 7.8 percent. The next month, it climbed to 8.3 percent and peaked at 10 percent in October 2009. It remained above 9 percent for all of 2010, before falling to 8.9 percent in May 2011, rising again to 9 percent in April, and dropping again to 8.9 percent in November 2011. For all of 2012, the rate has been above 8 percent. Prior to Obama, no president presided over three years of average annual unemployment of 8 percent. The average annual unemployment for 2009 was 9.3 percent, in 2010 it was 9.6 percent and was 8.9 percent in 2011. In 1975, during the Ford administration, the annual average unemployment rate was 8.5 percent. For two years during Reagan's first term. Unemployment surpassed 9%, in 1982 at 9.7% in 1983 and 9.6%. Unemployment peaked under Ford in May 1975 at 9%. Unemployment peaked under Reagan in November and December of 1982 at 10.8% for both months. According to data from the U.S. Census Bureau, unemployment was the highest in the 20th century under the administrations of Democratic President Franklin D. Roosevelt, particularly the years 1933 through 1941. The unemployment rate was 24.7% in 1933 and declined to 14.18% in 1937. It then went up to 18.91% in 1938 and was still at 9.66% in 1941, when the United States entered World War II. So you see, most of those people there who were cheering are probably happy with Obama's performance on jobs considering they probably didn't want any. Instead, 
they were happy getting the multiple unemployment benefits extensions they received under Obama. Like Nancy Pelosi said in the early months of the Obama regime, people don't have to worry about jobs and they are now free to pursue hobbies. Sounds, great, but I don't know of many hobbies that will put food on the table, do you? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.